hello guys hello my lovely people welcome back to sissy's kitchen in today's video we've made meat pie delicious and tasty meat pie here yeah, guys so if you want to know how i make this meat pie then just stay with me and let's do it together thank you for all my returning subscribers and if you're a first timer you're welcome click the subscription button and join the family let's check it out oh my 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 look at how moist it looks guys isn't this beautiful look at how yummy it looks thank you so much hello my beautiful people welcome back to sissy's kitchen you're welcome to my kitchen if this is your first time and for all my returning subscriber thank you so much for always being supportive and thank you for coming back if you're new in my channel you're welcome so today guys we'll be making something guess what let's see so today guys we'll be baking so we'll be making a delicious meat pie i'm just going to show you how i do my meat pie so into the uh, into this uh, recipe we'll be needing our flour as you've seen here yeah i have four cups of flour i have already uh, sifted it like when i say four cup like equivalent a cup like this like a cup of milk i have here this is the same cup i used to measure the flour okay guys so so that's one cup of milk you can you can use um water but i'm going to be using making use of milk and then here i, ha I have one teaspoon of baking powder this is how baking powder looks like so this is the one i, I i'm using so i'll just make use of one teaspoon and then we'll be making use of one uh, tablespoon uh, uh salt and then i'll make use of one uh one teaspoon uh sugar yeah but you can you can do without sugar it's still fine so yeah i have one egg and then that i'll use for the for the dough and then one egg that i'll use for glazing or to brush the the, dough, uh, the the pie towards baking and then here we have butter this is 250 grams butter you can use margarine that saves the same purpose guys and then into our filling we'll be needing our mince meat so here i have 500 grams of mince meat you can use any mince meat of your choice here into same into our fillings i'll be using making use of a bit of mince um potato as you've seen here here i have one carrot one potato that one large potato i chopped into into rectangular shape or is it square yeah so here i have some chopped uh carrot a little bit of of uh green beans optional and then a little bit of uh a, a little bit of uh, onion like one onion i have here and then here i have um um look at me i'm forgetting <laughs> my own ingredient you can use um uh, green onion or you can use um leeks it's leeks i'm looking for yeah or you can use leeks and then here we have i have one squash bonnet pepper i chopped and then here i have two garlic gloves so this is what and then we have our white pepper of course our maggi cube for seasoning and then we'll be making use of a bit of olive oil okay guys without taking much of your time let me just bring in our dry ingredient first like i'll just go in with our uh, baking powder a teaspoon of baking powder into it i'll just bring in my my one tablespoon salt at times i just do without sugar and then here i have one teaspoon like i'm just adding sugar just for i don't know just to have that mixture like okay guys so you can still do without sugar but some people go ahead using just sugar it's still fine whatever way you want it okay guys so when you put in your dry mix uh, ingredients you give it a, a stir 
I normally just give it a stir like like that. Yeah. And then, guys, I'll be making use of my fingers to bring everything into a fine mixture. So, my dry ingredients have come in. What I'll do now is I'll just bring in our, our butter. All right, guys, we've mixed everything, the dry ingredients into it. So, what I'll just do is I'll just add in my, my butter. I have chopped them, I've separated them like... So, and let me wash my hands, guys. Oh, it's going to be a little bit messy. Yeah. You want to make sure that your, your, your fingers or your hands are clean. Yeah. So, I'm just going to make mix everything up until we have that breadcrumbs-like uh, a mixture. And then we'll, we'll come in with our egg. Okay, guys, let's go. Mix everything like that. All right, you can see the crumb. It, it, it has become a little bit like bread crumbs. Like, like you can see. Look at that. So what we do is we, we just create a hole in the middle like that, and then we, we beat our one egg we are going to add. Then we add it inside. Just the, I'll just make a use with the spot with my fox first and mix it up like that before I bring in my my milk. So I continue with my hands. You don't want to over mix your your dough, yeah. So in comes your your milk or your water, whatever thing you're using, water or milk. You put it gradually. Don't put it at once. Yeah. You don't want to make you want your dough to be that soft, like too soft. So you want to put it, you estimate, you put. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's already coming together. One cup will just be fine. And in case you mix it and it's a little bit soft, you can see sprinkle a bit of flour. Yeah, guys. So, you see, that one cup of milk just save a fine purpose. Like, you just bring everything together, guys. don't want a soft dough and I don't like when my dough too is too hot it's not good so in case you discover that it's sticky just sprinkle a little bit of flour like I'm just sprinkle just a little bit like that look at guys you sprinkle a little bit of flour yeah It's fine and it has come together. Okay, guys, so our dough is fine now. So, you see, what we'll do is we'll just wrap it up and then we'll put it in the refrigerator and then we we'll do our fillings, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Meat pie. So, so tasty snack. I love meat pie. I love meat pie a lot. So, yeah. Just leave it in the refrigerator and we'll come for our filling. Alright guys, so our, our skillet is being heated up already. So into it, we'll just put in some olive oil. You can use any oil of your choice, guys. So I'm going to be using like two of this 
this is my small spoon yeah okay so into it we'll just bring in our all right guys so into our oil we'll just bring in our onion We're going to stir fry the onion like for three minutes three to five minutes and then we'll bring in our meat and here guys our potato i love to pre-boil my potato just a little bit before adding finally adding it to the to our filling but you can just put your potato without necessarily pre or to, to boil it, you just put it directly and then you add some water for it to cook. Alright, guys, so we've been frying like for a three to five minutes now. We'll just bring in our meat. So, as Ella said, you can use any mince meat of your choice. So, I'll just cut that in like that. So, you scatter everything like that, guys. We're going to fry it until the color changes. You see, it's already changing like. So in, I'll just bring in our our garlic, guys. It's optional. I just love the flavor of garlic into it. Whatever way you enjoy doing your own, it's still fine. So, but this is how I go about mine. That's what I'm sharing with you guys. So. Our garlic then I will just bring in our our scotch bonnet pepper and that continue to stir it up see the color the color is really like brownish and then I'll just bring in our I'll put in a teaspoon of salt put your salt and, and Maggi uh, or Maggi cube to taste and then I just bring in our no cube you can use any maggi cube of your choice guys so I just put it in like that and then I'll just I'll just grate some fresh white pepper like a teaspoon of it yeah like that guys Mmm, it's smelling nice already. Give it a stir. Give it a proper stir like that, guys. And then in comes our carrot and our green beans. Oh my god, that vibrant look. It's going to be so so vibrant. Like. Look at this guys. Oh my my my. Look at this, my beautiful people. And then, this is our potato. As I earlier told you, I pre cooked it a little bit. So, you see, it's not ready. A little bit hard. It's not that ready. So, that's how I go about it. So, I'll just bring in the potato. I'll just what I'll do is I will drop in a bit of water then I'll just allow it cook like for a few minutes you see just bring in a bit of water like that guys yeah you allow everything cooks together our spring onion I'll put it a little bit earlier um, later sorry look at these guys all right wow look at how colorful it looks so i'm just it's been cooking like for five minutes now so i'll just bring in my my leaves you can use spring onion you can use any vegetable any um vegetable of your choice yeah so look at look at how colorful it looks and guys you don't want your your, your feeling to be that dry so 
what I'll do is I'll just make a mixture of a bit of flour in water and then I'll add to it. So let's do it together. So I'll just bring a bit of water, like two tablespoons of water. Get into it, I'll add two uh, teaspoons of flour like that. Mix it together. You know, when your pie is moist from the in inside, it's very good. But when it's dry, I don't like it when it's dry. So, you see, so we we'll just add it in like that. And then we we'll mix it up. You see, it just brings everything together like, look at how moist it has become. So, and I just love how vibrant the color looks. Yeah, guys. Right for one more minute and then I'll fill in it. It's done. Yeah, my lovely people. So, this is the perfect consistency you want to have here when you're filling. Not dry, but moist, like that. Okay, guys. You set it aside and then I bring our dough. Alright guys, so here is our dough, it's been sitting in the fridge, so I'll just put it, I'll sprinkle some flour on our worksheet, like that, and I bring the dough. <sighs> guys, and what I'll do is, I'll just share the dough, like... I'll use my pizza cutter then I share the dough maybe into four portions like that look at how nice the dough is guys look at all right to the other portion I'll just put it aside and then I start working with one portion okay you can leave it in the fridge so that the water doesn't melt up you're done with one, you continue with the other one. Okay, what I'll just do is this. I'll just use my, I'll roll it over like that. You flip it on the other side, you roll it like that. You see? And then I used to normally use my, my small plate like this or a saucer and then I just give it that that cut that I, I so desire with my pizza cutter I just do like that yeah and you see so you have to improvise wherever you are so I just do it I flatten it more like that that's a perfect shape and what we'll do is we'll just give it a scoop of our filling and then we'll, we'll place we'll do it repeatedly on all so you don't want to overcrowd your filling look at how moist and nice it looks look at that guys so and normally i just bring it like this and then i flip it like that and i use my finger i close it like that And then I'll still use it, my fork, and then I'll give it a perfect seal like that. You want to seal it so well that it doesn't open. Yeah, guys. So, so we we'll do it repeatedly like that, and place on our own sheet, and then you're good to go. Okay. Yeah, guys, so you do repeatedly on all. I use my pizza cutter like that. I believe this will give us two. Oops. Okay. Yeah. Like that. So, that's already two, guys. So, what you do, you just cook. Yo. and for more savory guys you can just boil an egg you cut it into fine shapes and then you add it inside so i used to do it but i was just reluctant to to do it today 
okay you close it like that use your finger to close it to seal it completely like that and then you use your fork to, to repeat the same thing so that it doesn't open up while in the in the oven in place so that's two the same process guys place in the middle place your filling in the middle like that and then you just bring the other side like that and then you close it with your fingers like that and then you use your forks to repeat the process the same thing okay so that's the way all right my lovely people so we are done with our work pile what i'm doing is the one egg we kept aside we'll just i'll i'll use it to give it that glazing look yeah so i'll just beat it up then i'll brush the pie with it so that it comes out shiny like okay guys that is done just give it that brush like that we brush all the pies guys so that it comes out shiny and to all my returning subscribers thank you guys so so much for for subscribing please like my video and check uh, my videos out i have so many wonderful videos you won't you won't miss you won't want to miss guys so please do well to check them out click on the subscription button like share with your friends family your friends friends thank you guys brush everything like that guys our oven is already preheated 180 degrees Celsius, so i'll just brush and then i'll put it in the oven for around 35 to 40 minutes and then that'll be fine wow look at how shiny i can't just wait for it to get ready i'm going to taste yeah guys try this recipe and let me know on the comment section if you've tried any of my recipes please do well to leave me a comment thank you and then i'll just use my my fox to give it that poke like yeah i love to do this i love to do this guys yeah just to give it that beautiful look like yeah okay so it's good to go into the oven guys so here we are going to put the first and we put the second all right guys hello all right guys our pie is been there for 35 minutes 40 so let's just check it out i guess it's ready oh my 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 Look at this guys. Look at this my lovely people. Oh, isn't this beautiful? Look at how yummy it looks. It's still very hot. But that's how I'm going to just taste them. Okay guys, let's try one. Oh, I need a salsa. so so yummy guys uh, which one should we try let me go with this one look at how the dough is oh my 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 look at this guys how yummy it looks i'm just going to taste right away it's still very hot guys ah my 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 it is so so moist inside the savory the taste it tastes so wow in the mouth 
this is one of my favorite snacks guys i hope you love my video i hope it was useful please kindly like click the notification bell subscribe to support your girl we are together in this guys i can't do without you yeah so see you and stay blessed see you in my next video thank you bye